Hello woodworkers, craftsmen, lovers of wood uh, from around the world. Uh, today I want to show you uh, uh, how to make a cabinet scraper out of a saw blade and uh, put an edge on one and then give you a, a kind of a quick demonstration as to how wonderful they work. Uh, you can buy them at your uh, local supply stores. Uh, they come in a, a variety of uh, thicknesses, you know, hence flexibilities. Uh, very flexible and so on. I, pr I prefer something with uh, a little bit more meat to it. Uh, it's quite easy to put an edge, a nice, a nice um, edge to it and it stays sharp for quite a while. But today I just thought I'd show you how to uh, make one out of an old saw blade. My very first scraper was from a saw blade that I made and it's a, it's a magnificent tool and I wish I'd learned about it earlier. Anyway, without further ado, I will uh, quickly uh, saw this up and uh, grind it a bit and show you how to put an edge on it. Okay? Okay, crude but effective, and uh, it helps if you start with a sharp blade. Okay, after you grind it, you know, flat by eye, you've got to clean it up. So the file takes a couple minutes, which I have already spent. Got four sides, so we'll use them all. Again, perpendicular. Got a little bit more work to do. Yeah, once you've filed things um, straight and perpendicular, you've broken, you know, you've, you've, you've cleaned it up, you can hone it a little bit uh, just to make it extra tidy on, uh, on a stone of sorts. But really what you want is a, a very clean uh, square edge and then you just, uh, with the burnisher, which I'll show you in about uh, one minute. Okay, so once you've got your perpendicular edge nice and clean. You want to use a burnisher, which is really uh, any hardened cylindrical piece of steel. Um, you can use a screwdriver handle. Uh, we'll try that. Um, it's hardened steel and obviously not the best tool, but it works. And even one pass gives you a bit of an edge. Sometimes a couple is better if you want a meatier edge. I'm going to use uh, what, what my burnisher, which is an old, uh, looks like knife sharpener that's kind of worn out. Yep, that got one. I'll try the other side. And do the same thing. Actually, I'm going to go a bit crazy. There we go. So that's four sides sharp now. And we'll get a piece of wood and I'll see uh, how well we did. So I've got uh, my now sharpened scraper and a piece of uh, guitar back. It's made out of uh, five piece uh, Brazilian, believe it or not. 
I guess nine piece if you include the ebony fillets, but it should be a good uh, a test because you've got some fairly hard wood there. Okay, that's uh, one of the more aggressive edges. That's obviously more than one pass with the burnisher. I have a fair bit of material to remove here because my pieces were not all exactly the same thickness. So that's a pretty aggressive edge. Let's try one that's it's obviously much, not so much, which is good for the, the final stages. But when you've got a lot of material to take off, it's nicer to have a more aggressive edge. And as you can see. And it's starting to get warm. But look, all that material removed in a matter of seconds. And I'm halfway there. Well, to recap, uh, the cabinet scraper. Any flexible piece of hardened steel, uh, make a flat edge, clean it up, make it perpendicular, get a burnisher of some description, uh, pass one or two uh, on, on an angle like that with some vigor. You get your hook, and away you go. And it stays sharp for quite a while. So if you like the video, please subscribe. If you're interested in architecture, uh, please visit my website, michaelwilsonarchitect.com. A number of my buildings are made of wood, uh, among other things. Anyway, hope you like the video and enjoy your cabinet scraper. Thank you.